Greco-Roman wrestler, holding a professional record of 16 wins, two losses. He stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Phoenix, Arizona, presenting the challenger, Henry the Messenger Zahudo! And now, introducing the champion, Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 22 wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Israel, the last style bender. UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. The fighters touch him up. Are you ready? You ready? All right, so the fight is now underway. On one side, you have a fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. Gonna be interesting to see how long he can keep it up with. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. And they separate. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Oh! Nice loop and punch. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt, DC. Not a great one. Might as well tell your opponent you're shooting, huh? Yeah, he's your best friend. Tell him that you want to take him to his back and watch him defend and then beat you up with the fight stand. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, big head kick land. Throws the right hand there. Takedown defense holds up. Ooh, what a punch. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, beautiful strike there by Israel Adesanya. He's got a lifetime in the game, not a lifetime in the UFC, but you see, this is a lifelong striker who is very dangerous with all of us. Yeah, and when you're standing with Izzy, you're in trouble, man. You're under constant attack the whole time because you never know what he's going to hit you with. And right there, he landed the strike that he was looking for. Oh, disguise that. Nice trip to get the takedown from the clinch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Three minutes remain in the round. So 33 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. Nice kick. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? Man. News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Takedown attempts starting to pile up. <laughs> Just out of range with that right hook. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Cejudo gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Two minutes to go in round one. Down here, just doing a nice job, not telegraphing his shot, clean entries. The Olympian's got to like what he sees. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By beating him on the entry, 
Now it's up to the opponent to keep up. But this guy's playing chess. His opponent's playing checkers. He's playing chess. He can't keep up. Once he gets to his legs, he's got to beat him defensively before he gets his hands locked around his legs or his body. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, man, look how quickly he gets that foot to the target. Nice leg kick. Oh, he slipped well there to avoid the left hand coming back. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Adesanya's kick to the body, that one blocked by the defense. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. Oh! Looked like it did start a little bit. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. the guard closed here. Cejudo's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Israel Adesanya gets up. He is back on the feet here. Oh, nice. Take him down, come. Take him down, come. Over and over, he secured these takedowns. In a very close round, a takedown like that might be the difference. All right, man, take a seat for me. That was awesome. You really hurt him there, okay? He's in trouble. There's no way he's going to recover. I need you to get out there, and I want good, hard, fast punch and kick combination. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. Round two now. Israel Adesanya versus Henry Cejudo. Nice punch lands over the top. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Big head kick land. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Nice entry directly into the finish. Nice takedown. Finds a home for the left hand there. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Adesanya. His opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any you've ever seen. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. 96 total strikes have landed for Israel Adesanya. Striking at a 57% accuracy rate against Henry Cejudo. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something, another beautiful takedown lane. Cejudo's lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Israel Adesanya gets back up again. Good work from the top here by the ever-improved Henry Cejudo. 
Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Adesanya. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. Yeah. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend, or the referee's going to stop you the You've got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. So a much different approach from him here in round two. It took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Nice oh. punch, Lance. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! Stuff the takedown, no problem. Oh! Oh! Drops him with the elbow! Oh, he's back up again. You gotta like that. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. All right, what do you think? Another takedown attempt here. It seems like every time he's gone to the well. Oh, he catches. All right, so he catches the kick there and beautifully counters with the takedown. So a nice job turning that defense into some immediate offense there. He did a great job of turning his defense into his offense, but you can see that he's done that time and time again. He drilled that exact action, and it worked in this instance. Whoa! Back to the feet. And he landed the right hand there. And really starting to make these shots count. All right, so the takedown's the big storyline in that previous round. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and got to be pretty discouraging to get grounded that many times in one round. Oh, it's so discouraging because all you want to do is let your offense go, but every time you're getting dragged to the floor constantly, you're starting to get fatigued. He's starting to wear on you. Let's see what type of effect it takes on his offensive approach as the next round starts. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. Oh, never looked this good. Huge right hand! looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Oh, diving punch lands. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Cejudo. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Close guard. Oh, that right hand is on point. Cejudo's got a bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Cejudo. He continues to evolve as a striker. 
Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. I mean, how many can he take? Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Cejudo. We pass the midpoint here of the fight. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. I mean, how many can he take? Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by the ever-improved Henry Cejudo. Fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. I mean, how many can he take? Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Cejudo. He continues to evolve as a striker. 90 seconds to go. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Adesanya. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Cejudo's back in side control. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Oh, useful strike on the ground, that was. Keep going again. Do it again. Man, doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Oh, good work here to the body by Cejudo. Take the bag and put the hooks in. 20 seconds left. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from Bob. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. You see the cut just above the eye from that round. So the cut man's got to get in here, close that thing up. You don't want it becoming an issue here into this next round. All right, well, the crowd enjoyed those five minutes. DC, take us through some of the highlights from that previous round. Face punching at its best. Ha, he loaded it up. He threw it straight, he threw it long, and over and over, that punch found the target. It allowed him to really dictate the pace of that round. Listen, he knocked him down at the end of that round. That was great, okay? He's ready to go. I want you to go out there. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to wow! Straight right. And they separate. Cejudo's shot there is blocked. Jab hurt him a little bit. Cejudo gets absolutely punished by that head kick. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. It's over. It's over. 
just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you got to show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill 